Hey guys, it's Wayne and Jess. Hi. The Comic Colics, and finally, we have a haul video. Yes, we've been hoarding. N yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it's. I feel like it's been over a month since we did a haul video. It's just been a lot of CGC, uh, just grading videos. Yeah. So we've finally been getting out there. Very excited. Very pleased with what we have to show. Yep. So this haul is going to consist of one new book, which. Uh, you can already see. Mm -hmm. And then the rest are some antique finds, a uh, little con find, a bunch of stuff. So oh, let's just, big con Yeah, find. let's just get let's just get going. All right, so the first book is <laughs> TMNT 95 second print. This is the first appearance of Jenica as a Ninja Turtle and well actually just as a turtle, I guess you could say. But I am obsessed had me running around. We can't find the first print Ugh, for a decent God. price. So we got this for cover price. I'm a big turtle fan. As you can see, yeah. I got Donnie over here. We've been going to arcades also, so these are some of our um, arcade prizes. Yes. <laughs> really, uh, just great stuff. Big unicorn, that's mine. Yeah, oh yeah, that's over there. Uh, th we got a lot of cool stuff. Anyways, that's not a what this hall cool is. A lot of cool stuff, it's like a little squishy <laughs> lizard. Knickknacks, <laughs> one of those things that grows, you know, little... <laughs> Dinosaur. All right, anyway, so I'm a big Turtles fan. Can't wait for the arcade one up to come out. Uh, yes, let's, let's go on because we have so much. Turtles. Uh, this next group of books, we went to Newberry Comics, mm -hmm. and they have a bunch of like grab bags there, and each bag is different. Sometimes it's just Marvel, DC, mm -hmm. just variants. Um, they have the hip-hop variants, and then they had their own cover exclusive grab bag so it's all newberry comic exclusive covers we've done videos of those before yeah so uh we were looking for one specific cover mm -hmm. and we did find it we'll show it last yeah so these are books that were in those grab bags so yeah. maybe these will sway you one way or another if you live near yeah newberry comics I, or... I can't remember the exact price but they came out to like a dollar or just over a dollar a piece so mm -hmm. we got the amazing spider-man renew June. <laughs> Renew your Cat, vows, number one. <laughs> the Newberry Comics variant. I see this cover all the time wherever we go, and I always really? am like, yeah, every time. I'm In like, Invincible Iron Man, number one, Newberry Comics exclusive. I'm not going to say that anymore. <laughs> Just realize Please all don't. these. <laughs> we'll tell you when they're not. <laughs> Got Little A versus X Marvel variant. <laughs> I was going to say it. <laughs> We're in a mood today. Oh, God. We just came back from an arcade. <laughs> Spent way too much money. Uh, Doctor Strange number one. This is uh, the Newberry Comics variant <laughs> <No>. cover. <laughs> oh, see, actually, it's a uh, Newberry Comics. Yeah, I hate this cover. I'm sorry. I don't hate it. I just Ooh. don't love it. Uh, X-Men 92, number one variant. <laughs> I think the reason I don't like it is because I saw this on their shelf ever since it's, it's come out. You know? I feel like I've just seen it so many times. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was, uh, by the way, Newberry Comics exclusive. Oh, everybody's clicked off. Yeah, like, fuck this. thumbs it down. It's Vader down. We got Star Wars Vader down number one. I actually do really like this cover. It's beautiful. Another Star Wars. Yep, Star Wars Lando number one variant. This one's pretty good, too. Mike Mayhew variant. I love that. If there's any Star Wars fans, I'm sure they love these. Yeah. This one was my favorite out of those grab bags. Really? I saw that online and I went, Well, we, we have a couple copies of this. I know, but uh, I love this cover. And yeah, because so... you're on the cover. Exactly. Um, Secret Wars number one variant. That one's all right. To me, the, it's kind of bland. Fifty Shades of Beige in this, okay, too. Well, let's see <laughs> like... you do better. <laughs> Good point. All right, so here it is. This is what we wanted to find in that grab bag. This is the Mighty Thor number one Uh First Jane Foster as Thor, and the first issue is really heated up, obviously, because uh, Natalie Portman's going to be portraying this character in the movies, apparently, and we had seen, like, every cover possible on Instagram, but really not many people showed this, if any, mm. um, and it's actually a connecting cover, yes, which was also in there. Ooh. You see that? Oh, yeah, you can see that real good. Uh, this is Miss Marvel number one variant. Yeah, so that was our... Uh find of that yeah that so day. i think it was well worth it man we're been drinking bro that's great all right <laughs> so uh, this is our next set. these are not newberry comic variants no these are actually all books that we found at the time capsule mm -hmm. all right 
This was $5. This is Captain America number 34. Uh, this is the Alex Ross cover. This is when Bucky becomes Captain America. I still think Falcon is Captain America in the MCU right now, but I think at the end of that TV series, he's going to pass it off to Bucky. I still have hope. I'm, I'm torn about that. I really... I don't know. I, I feel like that's a long, I will stretched say, out thing. Um, Eternals number one variant. This is the first appearance of Horde. I don't know if this is a ratio variant. I really don't, but it's a nice cover. And it was $2.50. This cover was awesome. This is um the Ultimates issue two. This is the one in twenty five, Chung variant, and we got this for uh, two dollars and fifty cents. This cover actually goes for a little bit of money. Uh, checked eBay, it's not bad. Because no. I guess there's rumors of the Ultimates coming into the MCU too, but there's rumors of everything. <laughs> so really so seriously, is. who the hell knows? Speculation. Yeah, uh, speculations really yeah. getting out of control these days. Taking off. Um, all right, these next groups, this next group of books is all from um, flea markets and antique stores. Yes, <clears throat> I found this. Yeah, you. All right, I'll admit it. She had I a damn been eye. On a roll. These books, by the way, are from like the past week or two. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've been going to a lot of antique stores, and holy smokes, every single one we go to, she just eyeballs a big box of comics. I walk right by one, and I'm like, uh, comics right here. <laughs> Comics right here. <laughs> hey, <laughs> comics right here. <laughs> Alright, um, anyways. This is the Eternals number 11. Uh, first Druid? Druig? One of the, I can't remember his name. We have quite a few copies of this. Yes, um, this, this was a dollar. I can't remember if he's confirmed to be in the movie. Um, haven't been paying too much attention to that, unfortunately, out of just no time, no, <laughs> really, yeah. but... Honestly, all we know is Angelina Jolie. Yeah, well, and Rob Stark. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Was it and Selma Hayek. All right, I guess we got we know a little bit. So I thought this said rat. I, I can't <laughs> believe. So Jess is so good, but she did not recognize this cover. This was also at a flea uh, antique store. It was. It was the one where we thought we found AF fifty. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, this is Rye issue zero. This is the first full appearance of Bloodshot. This was a dollar. Um, it's not in the greatest condition, but we don't have one yet, so yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is X Men Annual 14, first appearance of Gambit. It's in cameo. Um, Where did this you was, get this one? This was at the one in Pawtucket, the antique mall type of thing. Oh, yeah. And he had a bunch of good books. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, he had two of these. One said $13, and then this one said. It looked like thirteen dollars, but the one kind of looked like a like the dollar symbol, so they gave it to me for three dollars. I was pretty pumped. So, first gambit three about three dollars. It's in decent shape. Three bucks, three bones. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we yeah. call we call dollars bones now apparently. I'm sure everybody does, but yeah, it's a pretty thick thing. <laughs> Stop. All right. Uh, the Uncanny X Men two hundred one. First appearance of Baby Cable. Well, first appearance of Cable as a baby. Uh, I've always wanted this book. You only honestly. get one shot with that. <laughs> what? Being a baby. Oh yeah. Well, I've always wanted this. I love the cover, and uh, it's it is beat up. It's got it's not in great shape at all. And uh, the guy had two dollars per comic. He didn't say it though. I was like, Yo, Chief, how much for the comics? He's like two dollars a piece, and I was oh, like, Oh yeah, uh, that's right. I looked at this, and. I just put it down, knowing that he would say a oh, dollar. I found these. You found them again, all right? I found everything. So I put it down, and he then uh, walked around for a little bit. He goes, oh, uh, I'll do a dollar. Yeah, so it was a... I knew he was going to do that. You, I'm, you a fool. A I'm a fool. I'm a salesman. I mean, that's what it... You had a slick move yeah. right there. I'll give you that. Uh, these... Oh, these ones... These next couple ones are from the uh, antique stores in Chapachet. Oh, yeah. Old, old mills. Yeah. Really cool. Like, 1800s. Um... All right, these ones are beat, but still cool. DC Legends issue three, first uh, new Suicide Squad. So this was how when the movie came out. Yeah. <laughs> that's wild. Oh my god, that was so long ago. Yep. DC Legends one, first Amanda Waller. This one also a dollar. Low grade again. I was, uh, I was pumped about this. Terminator: The Burning Earth. Uh, issue one. This is the first published Alex Ross art. That's crazy. Yeah, he's our favorite artist, so it was really cool to see that. Yeah. And then the last one from that flea market. 
Which was the first, I think it was the first one in that box. I think it was too. You picked up, you went, yo. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Moon Knight number one. This is, this again, was only a dollar, so. It, it's, these were all lower to mid grade, but they're just, you know. It's, and it's also really exciting and really satisfying when you go into a place like a flea market or an antique, antique shop so, yeah. and comics are not advertised. You find like a you just see a box beat up box. Yeah. Uh, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. Uh, uh, and then the yeah. last four books are from Terrificon. Yes, we had no plans to go. Honestly, oh. forgot about it, and all of a sudden it was yesterday. Holy it was shit. yesterday morning. We were like, we were looking at Instagram. And we saw that there was going to be a ton of people there. Yeah, and it's at Mohegan Sun, which is a little over an hour from us. It's a casino. Yeah. And we're like, you know what? I want to go. And we just went. That and was a very spontaneous move. It was. Us. And it was very fun and rewarding. So let's see what we got. Right. Um, so we brought some books to get signed. Hmm. This is Thanos number 13, First Appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider. This is the third printing. And got signed by Donny Cates. Jess still hates him. I wouldn't say hate. I'd no, say she... I lost respect for him. That oh one my time. god! Because last time at Phoenix of Boston last year, he didn't pay attention to her. He was just staring <gasps> at this stuff. Didn't pay attention to <laughs> Go her. Go to the next book. Come on. Wow. My friend. I'm just kidding. Listen. Okay. The five minutes into the into us being at the con, some guy reaches right over me, just stands in front. Oh, uh, enough. That's that's uh, triggering for another video. Uh, women disrespect and com. The comic community. Uh, anyways, Venom number one, signed by Donny <laughs> Cates and Ryan Stegman. Uh, these autographs, by the way, it was, uh, you get one from each of them for free, and then any additional is $5. So, I thought that was pretty fair. So, this book was technically free. I had to wait a decent while for them. Oh, my God. We had to wait a whole five minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. You mean every time we walked over, they were taking a pee break. Oh, probably a smoke break, because he's edgy. <laughs> Just kidding. What was it? Devil's Advocate. You are a hater. All right, this is Cosmic Ghost Rider number one, uh, the Clayton Crane variant. We actually got this from Ryan, the Rated Roar. Uh, he gave this to us, and mm -hmm. it was an opportunity to get him to both sides, so it was really cool. Clayton Crane. He uh, was. He seemed cool. Yeah, I he was him. nice. Uh, his autograph was five dollars, and then Donny Cates again. He has a. I really like his signature. Yeah, and then you can get his rainbow oh, one for like my. another five dollars. It's where he does it, like awesome. each letter in a different uh, pen. Um, but we're just busting balls about Donny Cates, by the way. Yeah. I hope you know that. I'm a big fan of him. I hope you guys know that. He is. That's all he talks about. No, we're just busting I balls. I was, but um, a few honorable mentions was uh, Jason Voorhees. Oh, Try my God. Meet him. So we had just gotten there, and if you guys know Derek Mears, he, well, not only Jason Voorhees, but he was just playing Swamp Thing in the TV mm. series that was so hot and got canceled. Um, but yeah. So I wanted to meet him because that's like my favorite Friday the 13th movie. And your Not your favorite Jason. Uh, he's up there. Yeah. He really is. Um, so anyways, we wanted to meet him, couldn't find him. Then all of a sudden, Jess was going to the bathroom. And then we, oh, <laughs> of thanks. course I gotta say that. <laughs> so we were hanging out by the bathroom area and then we're leaving. And out from the curtain comes Derek Mears standing at a, standing at a mean 6'5". Walks by us and I just stare to at him. the bathrooms. Yeah, yeah, he had to go to the bathroom. Um... <laughs> But I was just staring at him like a creep in awe because I am a big fan of his. And he smiled at him. He looks and down and like gives me a nice smile and a nod. He looks down all yeah, the way. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he was he looked really nice and I like him a lot. And we'll never find out because we didn't meet him. I know. He it was bounced bummed. after that. We saw um Well they have they do breaks. You know? He was there for the day. Probably. I mean he was um, there all weekend. We saw Val Kil Kilmer. Yeah. Um that was pretty cool to see him in person. We didn't meet him. No. But when we left, okay, so there. Come on, we get the, we get another. No, no, this is the grand finale. Hey. But when we got there at his area, he, there was a massive bat signal. Yeah, you can take a picture of the bat signal and. And when we were leaving, we were walking to the parking lot. It was unhitched from like a trail. It was just. It was chilling on a trailer. In the middle of the parking lot, completely desolate, and it had Bell Kilmer signed it. Yeah, I and his signature that was, cool. was right on the side, and I was like, if only we had a truck right now. I told her they locked those things, <laughs> but she didn't want to hear it. No. Anyways. But it was a good time. Yeah, it really was. And again, we like Donny Cates, we're just busting balls, okay? Because I know people are like, oh, you guys hate Donny yeah, Cates. I know. Just busting balls. Big fan of him, obviously. I wouldn't, you know. He is a really um, good artist. 
Anyways, he's a writer, my friend, not an artist. Mm. He's thinking of Clayton Crane. Anyways. Hey. Anyways, the last book. So on the way out, we were like kind of bummed because we didn't buy any books. We, we looked no, at a lot of things. You were bummed because you had a turtle book. Yeah, I wanted the first Jenica. Anyways, on the way out, finally saw it. Put her down. Oh, my God. Finally. Cr- cross it off the list right now. Yeah. This was number one on the list, so that was awesome. Yes, yeah, so right Man. there. And never thought we'd be able to do this, but goodbye. That was awesome. So cool. Uh, so we had been looking at this and, well, looking for at the whole show, and there was, like, really nice copies, so they were out of our range. We wanted a low grade. That's all we wanted, just so we could have it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. On the way out, we were literally leaving and saw a booth, and there it was just staring at us, and it had a price tag of 200 which we already thought was great. Mm-hmm. And um, and also, I thought the graded what? what was oh, the grade my God. It was, it was the 48 was a 5 or something. And I, I had my glasses on, but I was like, does that say no, it was 250 a, It was a 3.0, and it was 850 but yeah. it was 250 <laughs> I got wow. so excited at first. Um, anyways. Wow, we're rusty at haul videos. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. We're just very excited. Yeah. So. So, yeah, it was $200, yeah. and I thought Jess was going to say, No, we ain't this too much. What are you doing? Which, to be fair, I have I feel like we've been waiting for that perfect moment yeah. of, like, that perfect deal where it's like, we will never see this again. So, $200, I look at the guy and said, Could you do any lower? And he said, Yeah, I could do 175 And I kind of was just waiting for Jess to say he something. He was just staring at the was, book, and I looked at him, I said, do it. And it made me so happy. I smiled, and then we got it. We got it, and we walked away. We were like, okay, that's our sign. Yeah. That was the end of the convention for us. And it is complete. He said it was yeah. complete. He went through it. He said it was missing a staple. However, he must not have gone through it very well, because the staple is there. Yeah. Which was good. However, the centerfold's detached, Yeah. which kind of sucks, but it's complete, so... Wayne wants to get it graded, but I'm very hesitant on that. No. All right, so let us know what you think. If we get this graded, it will be a blue label because it's complete. But I'm pretty sure in the middle area, it'll say cover um, centerfold detached. And, but I'm kind of scared to see what the grade would be. Oh, it's probably like a 1.5, too. Yeah. It's low. It really is. I mean, but... it's never leaving our collection. No, this one's for us. If you guys saw our last CGC video, we got a 3.0, but that was my dad. So. Yeah. So... But this one... I wish it was the other cover. She likes 48. I love 49. I really like 48 a lot more. Um, but yeah, I'm unbelievably happy. As you could tell, it was the first on our want list. Um, and you didn't think I was going to say no, yes. No, I didn't. I thought she was going to be like, oh, not right now. No, I looked at him. I was like, we will never find this do again. I th- do I think we got a steal on it? Absolutely not. I think we got a good price, but I don't well, think... I think we got a good yeah. price, and we were... In the position where we hadn't bought anything yet, well, besides um, the autographs, the autographs, are ten bucks total. But uh, we were looking at a Carnage. We were yeah, they had a nine point four for like one hundred and twenty bucks graded. I thought that was a great deal. Yeah, so we were walking away basically empty-handed, and we went in. We usually say we'll get one book that we really like. Yeah, like we we set ourselves at with the most, budget, yeah. and we went severely under that budget because we didn't buy anything, and then boom, this and happened. We looked at so many. For, I'd say, the past three conventions that we've gone to. Mm-hmm. Um, but the problem was the other ones weren't overpriced, just that they were better graded. They, yeah, they were better graded, which, I, I mean, fair. Fair enough. Yeah. But, but we I, just wanted something low grade just to have. Because yeah. once he comes into the MCU, it's going to get out of hand. Almost it's, like 300 we missed out on. Oh, yeah. That. Well, that's going to come back down. I, yeah, absolutely. I hope so, yeah. But, I mean, this this book's just going to skyrocket. And the problem is, I mean, 300's more of a modern book anyways. This is a Silver Age book, you know? Yeah. I feel like Silver Age books never really go down that much. No, and we check eBay all the time trying to buy one, and then... <laughs> the last five seconds, they skyrocket. The last five seconds, or you see it listed for 130 and you click on it, it has 30 minutes left, but then you see that everybody's face is colored in with green marker. <laughs> oh, my God, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, there was one where there was drawn everywhere. So, um, and yeah, the guy also mentioned there's no restoration. He went through the book, which is awesome, but we did too. Yeah, it's so cool to see in person. I know we looked through your dad's, but... I know. This now we have one of our own. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, so that's it. I do want to submit some books to CGC, maybe some modern books, because the turnaround time is not terrible. Mm -hmm. But yeah, overall, we had a really good time at Terrificon. I um, missed hunting. I know. Again, this is our first haul video in quite some time. Very happy Don't to call it. <laughs> see Donny Cates again. I like you him. You love him. I do. I, I, I did too. I just ha I'm I'm a little sore about that, but it's okay. He probably did not give two shits. He's like, oh, oh, some girl's upset now. That's what. <laughs> if you guys don't know the story, check out our video last don't, year from don't Fan even Expo worry Boston. About it. It's fine. It's just she's just twice. Like, she's just sour grapes, man. <laughs> so I've to, never said that so in my easy life. It's so to say when it's Sun not you. No, I know. It's upsetting when somebody you really like, you say hi to them and they ignore you. It's you know. like when we first met. I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, this video is man. now 20 minutes long. We're done. We're so sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. Go enjoy, you your, go enjoy your Monday. <laughs> uh, you guys should be seeing a CGC submission video from us soon, and it'll be much shorter, probably like five minutes. Yes, it will. All right, have a great, great Monday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in Rhode Island, so we have today off. It's a holiday. I was going to say that, but I realized like, maybe three people are. Yeah. All, All right. right. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye.